What's up everybody, TagPuncture7 here, back into the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the single player command mod, and what this mod does is it adds a command prompt to Minecraft, which will allow you to do all the commands from a multiplayer player server in the single player world. So, this does add far more commands than you would have in a normal server. There's about um, 100, so it's pretty much like having over 100 mods in one mod. So there's a bunch of stuff you can do with this. So you can see it says single player commands down in the bottom left hand corner. But if I go ahead and hit T, it'll bring up my chat box. And say I want to fly, all I have to do is type in fly, then hit enter. And there we go, now I'm flying. Now you notice the flying speed is pretty slow, so if I want to speed that up, I'll go ahead and hit T again. Then type in set speed, and then we'll go with 5. So the normal speed will be set at 1. So you can notice this is pretty fast. And you can go crazy with the speed. So say I want to do um, set, oops, set speed. Actually, let me make sure you do no spaces when you're doing the set speed. So you have to make sure you're doing everything correctly when you type it out, or you could mess something up. And then I'll set the speed to like a thousand. So this will be insanely fast. There you go. You see, I just went from there to there. Pretty much just launching across my world. Um, hopefully this is the right way back. I think it is. Yep. Okay, so I don't want to get lost. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that speed back to normal. So if I do set, speed, and then 1, we'll be back at the normal flying speed. Go ahead and land here. And then I'll turn my flying off by typing in fly again. Now another cool feature is if you type in instant mine, no spaces. It'll turn instant mining on, so you can just hit one block, and it'll just delete it. But the cool thing about this, um, what makes it different from using just uh, creative mode, is it will actually allow you to collect the block. Another thing you can do is spawn mobs. So say I want to spawn a slime, I can do um, spawn, spawn, slime. There we go, we have a slime that just now spawned. He will start to attack me, so I should probably get away from him. And then one last thing I want to show you, I might go ahead and go into third person here. Look, it's my cousin. Um, if I if I want to change my skin, you do... Oh man, he's going to kill me. Hold on, let me take care of this guy. They're attacking me, you guys are annoying. Okay. As I was saying, you can change your skin. Actually, let me go ahead and change it back to third person here. So you can change your skin, so you type in skin and then the player's name, so let's just do spoon, spoon, ninja, one, and there we go, now I have spoon ninja skin, so if I go like this, you can see I do have her skin, and then I could also do, um, let's see, what else could I do, let's do iPod mail, um, skin, iPod mail and there you go now you see I have iPod mail skin and then if you want to set it back to yours you just do skin reset and then you'll go back to your skin so that is just a small portion of what the single player command command mods adds there is like I said there is far more than what I've showed you there's a crap load of stuff that this mod adds so you can have a lot of fun with it so and I now need to clear my Minecraft jar after I do that I'll be back and I'll show you how to install this mod alright so what you need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program such as WinRAR 7-Zip or WinZip all these archiving programs work the same way so you can use whatever you prefer I'll be using WinRAR in this tutorial then the only thing you're gonna need to, down need to download is the single player command mod itself so to get single player commands I'll go ahead and give you the link to this page in the description so if you go ahead and scroll down, this page will show you all of the commands. If you go ahead and come to commands list, which is down here a little bit, it'll show you all of the commands for the mod that it adds into Minecraft. But we will be doing the manual installation, so go ahead and click on the preferred link after the manual installation. And this will bring us over to an ad fly, and it'll say please wait 5 seconds up in the right hand corner. After that 5 seconds up, a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. Go ahead and click on skip ad and it will automatically download the mod. So that is how to download single player commands. So when you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to start. Then type in percent app data percent. Just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner. Then go ahead and open up your roaming. Open your dot minecraft. 
open your bin, left click your Minecraft jar, then right click it, do open with, and select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now go ahead and minimize your bin, because we'll be coming back to it later on in the tutorial, so do not close it. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up single player commands. Now we do not want to put the world edit.jar or the readme text into your Minecraft jar. So what you want to do is click on the very first class right after the world edit.jar. Hold shift and click on the second class right after that. So that will highlight these two class files and you want to drag these into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Then go ahead and click on the first class after the readme text and again hold shift and then click on the very last class file. And that will highlight all these class files and you want to drag these into your Minecraft jar as well. Then go ahead and hit OK. Now in your Minecraft jar, you should see a folder called MetaInf. If you do not see this folder, that is okay. You can go ahead and just skip this step. But if you do see it, what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it, then right click it. Select delete files, then hit yes. And that will delete MetaInf. You want to make sure you're always deleting MetaInf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash. So once you delete MetaInf, Meta you go ahead and close your Minecraft jar. And you should have minimized your bin. So go ahead and bring that back up. And this is where we're going to put the world edit jar. So go ahead and take the world edit jar and drop it in into your bin. And there you go. That's it. Go ahead and close both these files down. And that's it. You're done installing the mod. So hope this video helped you guys out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.